the famed Berkeley restaurant Chez Panisse celebrating its 50th anniversary today. The restaurant best known for revolutionizing California cuisine and sparking the farm to table movement. Joining us now is Alice Waters. She is the owner and founder of Chez Panisse. Good morning. Good to have you with us. Good morning. Well, besides uh, your amazing fresh food, what has been the staying power of Chez Panisse? 50 years, a uh, remarkable uh, run for any business, especially a restaurant. What is the uh, secret sauce, so to speak? Well, it's not really a secret anymore, <laughs> but we buy all the food for Chez Panisse from local organic regenerative farms and ranchers. And this is the really good news because they're the people who are addressing climate, pulling that carbon down, putting it back in the ground where it belongs. And it's also contributed completely to the taste of the food. When you eat seasonally, you eat ripe food. And when it's organic, it's good for you. So this is the good news. That is the secret. Well, tell us, how did that farm to table movement revolutionize not only Chez Panisse, but other restaurants all over the country? And, and where did that come from initially? Initially, I have to say, it came from a trip that I made to France when I was 19. And I just learned to eat. And it was then a kind of slow food country and everything was local and seasonal. And I just loved the beauty of the food and the culture. And when I came home, I just said, I want to live like the French. And it began that way. But around the country, it was happening as well. People were recognizing the, the bad taste of the industrial food system. And so they got connected to their local farms and ranches. And that has really changed the food around the country. I think you're onto something, Alice. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Thank us. Thank you. <laughs> how I did think you, I am too. Uh, yeah, 50 years, I should say so. Tell us, how has the restaurant survived the pandemic? And, and when do you plan to fully open again, because I know you're doing some takeout, but not a lot. We are doing quite a bit of takeout, actually, but we don't want to open until really we feel good about being in this small space. And so we're kind of anticipating it could be the end of October, maybe earlier, but we're prepared for the long run. And that is something that's happened in a lot of restaurants around the Bay Area that we know. We're all working together. We're learning about what is right to do and what we can do affordably and how we can keep our farmers and ranchers alive by selling their food directly like we're doing on Sundays. We make a little farmer's market. But it's so important at this moment in time that we connect the dots between climate and food and the regenerative farming movement. Yeah. We must do this. And that's why my focus is really on public education, training the children, educating them edibly, from the time they're very, very little, and they'll grow up with a different set of values. Well, let's let's talk about that. By the way, you're a Cal grad, so am I, so I'll throw a Go Bears your way. Uh, <laughs> spent a lot of time in Berkeley and have been to your restaurant. I know you love the city of Berkeley, and you're constantly giving back. So on that same theme, tell us about the Edible Schoolyard Project and uh, how many thousands of schools have adopted it. Well, it was a project that we started 25 years ago at Martin Luther King Middle School in Berkeley. They have 
It's a group of teenagers, so it was a very good test case, sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. And what we did was we made a garden classroom and a kitchen classroom, not to teach gardening and cooking per se, but to teach all the academic subjects. So maybe you're having a history class in the kitchen and you're studying the Middle East and you're making hummus and pita bread and tabbouleh salad. So you're engaged with the culture through food and that's opening all of your senses. And that's what it's about. It's about hearing, seeing, tasting, smelling, touching. Those are our pathways into our minds. Yeah, and if there's one common thread in all humanity, it's food and good food. So uh, Alice Waters, uh, thanks for joining us and happy 50th and uh, here's to another 50 more there at North Berkeley. All the best. Thank you so much. Delighted.